this is the Navani CIA connection that came from WikiLeaks. This is the person that Dr. Cornel West and many progressives are calling courageous. This is the description. Uh, I think you get more of the description here. Uh, from our, our friends at Hotspot. Make sure you guys follow Hotspot. They, uh, he's, look at this tweet here. Reminder of why Alexei Navalny was ar arrested in the first place. Top Navalny aide and close associate uh, Vladimir Askerkov uh, being caught red-handed asking MI-16 officer James William Thomas Ford for 10 to 20 million a year to start a color revolution in Russia. Literally every country in the world, this is a crime. <laughs> you guys understand? But yeah. for some reason, Western imperialists like Dr. Corno West and all these Western liberals I'm about to show you who think he's a victim believe that countries like Russia and China and, and Venezuela are not allowed to enforce their laws. So Bernie Sanders called Nicholas Maduro a tyrant. Why, Misty? Because his, there was an opposition. There are people in the opposition party that work with the CIA and try to kill the president of the country. So yeah. of course those people was prosecuted because they tried to kill the president. You with the yeah. CIA? The then Bernie Sanders and the Democrat Party said Nicolas Maduro is a tyrant that goes after the, his, their political enemies. Yeah. Amazing, guys, isn't it? Not, it's so fucking stupid what they do. But go ahead, Misty. Go ahead. I know you want to chime He literally tried to do a coup. <laughs> He's in prison for a reason. This is not just some like. And here, okay, this is going to cause me to get very heated, and I'm probably going to rant a little bit here, and no, I'm going to go apologize ahead, go in advance because holy fuck, this pisses me off. If I see one more person compare Alexei Navalny to Julian Assange, I'm going to punch a motherfucker. Are you joking uh, me? Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? This guy is an unbelievable scumbag, an unrepentant, uh, unrepentant racist. He's uh, a, a, a guy trying to overthrow his country. He did not expose shit, really. If you look at the things that he exposed, um, uh, some corruption or whatever, but it's not nothing, nothing new, no new information. Just some regular little scumbag that the CIA was using to try to overthrow Vladimir Putin. And you're going to compare him to Julian fucking Assange? Are you kidding me right now? Julian Assange actually exposed corruption, not just from the United States, from governments across the globe, corporations across the globe, war crimes, you name it. And he is currently in prison right now, facing in two days, facing hearings where he is uh, potentially going to be extradited uh, to the, a country who, again, was recently revealed to be plotting to murder him. And he's facing 175 years in prison for publishing the truth. That's what he's in prison for. Alexei Navalny was in prison for attempting to overthrow his government. Those are two very different things. Things, motherfuckers oh my god it makes me so angry it makes me so angry our friend misty is too our, our friend misty is too powerful this is why i had to bring you on today of course we had to bring misty on today for another banger you know we got bangers after bangers after bangers at, at nick and night nick and noon and so you have all the liberals and including dr cornell west who made an ass of himself on the jimmy door show talking about january 6th according to them <laughs> january 6th is the worst day of all time <laughs> but Alexei Navalny working with the MI6 and CIA to start a color revolution, he's a hero. Someone explain to me how this makes sense. Do you guys see how these, these inconsistencies are insulting to me? Yes. That you in your late age, you guys haven't worked this out? Yeah. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing, man. It's the lack embarrassing. Of, like, curiosity. And hey, Cobra, I think you probably didn't mean it the way that you worded it. You said Assange didn't even do anything. Dude hosted a service. It was Manning and Snowden who released the info that Assange hosted. Guy didn't even do anything. He absolutely did something. I think you meant he didn't commit a crime. I'm going to probably just assume that that's what you meant. But um, nobody else was willing to publish that information. And the, the balls that it takes... Uh, to publish information uh, like he did, especially, I will say, Vault 7, that's, he did something. He absolutely did something. There's no question about it. But I think you just meant that he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't commit a crime, which I agree with, 100%. So this is, uh, you guys see how the entirety of the Nazi PMC class, the entirety of the PMC class, they, these, these older "Quote unquote leftists who have anti-Russia, Putin derangement syndrome." Here, Bernie Sanders being weak on white supremacy once again. Fuck this guy. Fuck oh. Bernie Sanders. What fuck a fucking this fuck. guy. I, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. But like, I'll be having these effortless tweets that 
<laughs> they get so many likes. I wasn't even trying to get a lot of likes on this one. I said Bernie Sanders a fucking cuck over a thousand likes because Bernie Sanders is a fucking cuck. If there's anyone yeah. who's a cuck, it's Bernie Sanders. But he knows exactly what he's doing. Like Bernie Sanders is so fucking insidious, man. He's so he's insidious. He's so disgusting. He is such a fucking scumbag. And I and I, I explained this when I was a sweet summer child when I liked Bernie. I was like, I acknowledge the bad things that Bernie did. But I thought, like, I mean, I was such a sweet summer child. Like, man, at least Bernie, it seemed like Bernie getting better. Maybe he yeah. might learn from the movement. Like, this is stuff that, and Misty was right. Misty was one of the people that tried to warn me. And yeah. back, uh, like, years ago, I was like, man, maybe, back when I used to be a Bernie supporter, like, man, yeah, I know Bernie made a mistake with Yugoslavia, a lot of stuff. But he, 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 he got a lot of things right, and maybe he's learning. No, Bernie got worse in record time. This motherfucker realized that the working class wasn't going to propel him to the position of the most powerful human of all time. He decided to take it out on us. Yeah. He's upset at young people for not coming out and vote with them. He upset because he felt like not, not enough black and brown people came out and vote for him. So now he's taking out on us by being the most blatant sellout of all time. Lisa, I was not Team Tulsi ever. Not one single time was I Team Tulsi. <laughs> yeah, people love to lie. I don't. Yeah. People love to lie. That's people, never. I don't know. I, don't know, I, I don't never know why. ever. I get that all that people say that all the time. Politicians. Why do I people never, love to lie? Like guys, yeah. who for one, like if you're gonna leave comments, like why lie? <laughs> like, she like, may not be lying. Really she may be because seriously, I I I, I, I don't why get it. Lie? I don't get it as much anymore. I used to get it a lot. People would say, "Oh yeah, well you support supported Tulsi." I have never once in my life supported or endorsed Tulsi Gabbard. Not a single time. Now, did I give her credit when she came out in support of Julian Assange? Absolutely, as I do with everybody. I gave credit to Marjorie Taylor Greene and Sarah Palin. I do it to everybody. So no, I do not support Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah, I've never for... supported Tulsi Gabbard. I've been incredibly harsh on Tulsi Gabbard. I've criticized her numerous times. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't me, yeah. sis. Sorry. Yeah, fair enough for a man that she Miko was, was pretty balls deep for Tulsi, but he, I mean, he. Listen, we we've, we've all Nico been. Nico is a, it one of the harshest critics of Tulsi now. He, now he is, yes, and that's that, like I have res, I have far more respect for people who used to support a politician for whatever reason, and then who came around and who are now willing to go hard at those people. Do you know what I'm saying? And credit to you, Nick, because you just mentioned like I was one of the people that tried to warn you about Bernie. You are you didn't block me, um, and uh, there were a lot of people back in 2015, 2016 who did not like me very much at all and blocked me. No, I, that's um, why I liked you more. I was like. Oh, shit, she got an interesting perspective. <laughs> like, yeah. I like you more because, oh, shit. A lot of people did not feel that way. <laughs> yeah, she, like, she thinks differently. I'm like, oh, shit, I need to uh, listen to her perspective. You know what I mean? That's uh, what was obvious to me. Like, even when I, I even when I liked Bernie, I was never in the cult. I was never in the cult. No, like, you weren't. He was never above criticism. Even no. when I like Obama, he was never, I was never in a cult, ever. No. Ever. I, I can at least say that. I was never in a cult for anybody. Uh, but let's continue. Uh, this is a fun live stream. Uh, this is, is Bernie Sanders essentially saying the same thing Dr. Cornell West did. Uh, he said that Putin killed him for it, which uh, I didn't even explain that. Like, how does it make sense for Putin to kill election? Nobody? It doesn't. Can we talk about that? Go ahead. Just, Go this ahead. is the Syrian <laughs> gas attacks. It makes no fucking sense for Putin Go to ahead. kill Alexei Navalny in prison right now. Makes no sense. Alexei Navalny, first of all, in prison. He's irrelevant. He is of no threat whatsoever to Vladimir Putin. Second of all, I think he had like an 8% approval rating in Russia. Russians don't like Alexei Navalny. They do not like it. And Putin's doing great. I think he's got like an 80% approval rating. Why the fuck would he kill Alexei Navalny right now, knowing that that would bring all kinds of attention and chaos and issues his way. That's going to make it easier for the United States to justify, which by the way, they're doing, they're immediately, very convenient, immediately they're like, oh, uh, Putin killed Alexei Navalny. We got to send $60 billion to Ukraine. It's funny how that happened. They were having trouble getting that money through. Suddenly Alexei Navalny dies and we got to send $60 billion to Ukraine. It's weird how that happened, right? Very convenient timing. It's just fucking they want, stupid. They want us to believe that our enemies are just fucking stupid. Right? Like Putin's Putin not an idiot. Russia, yeah, Putin in Russia is <laughs> He's a lot of things. Cool. Not an idiot. It's like it like us it like Assad. It's like they want you to believe not an idiot. Like, people. like yeah. they want you to believe that their enemies are just bumbling fools, even though that's the Biden administration. They want they want you to believe they're bumbling fools who just make these own goal mistakes for no reason. Right. So now Bonnie is despised in Russia. He's effect even if you believe Putin's an evil tyrant, he's effectively neutralized already. Yes. As being in prison. So after the the Putin Tucker Carlson interview, during a wave of positive PR from Putin, right. 
as Putin is destroying you, as he destroying Ukraine, as aid, you have you have U.S. aid in Washington that is being stalled because of Republicans. So the worst thing you can possibly do is kill Navani that could galvanize support in the United States to go to Ukraine, which is exactly what Biden and, and the Republicans who are for Ukraine aid are trying to do. They said, we got to use this as a time to give aid to Ukraine because Russia yeah. might be defeated. It makes literally no sense for Putin to do this. The only reason you would think Putin would do this, if you had Putin the random syndrome, and you think all of our enemies are stupid. Right. You know what I mean? It's the same reason why Assad wouldn't gas his people. You know what I mean? The same no reason sense. that they always say that these leaders, these people they just do shit that makes no fucking sense. You no. know what I mean? Like Nicholas Maduro. They said Nicholas Maduro going to rig election where polls show that he was winning by 15, 20 points. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. No. You know what I mean? But they want to they want us to believe our enemies are, are dumb. And there are like a thousand more examples that escape in my mind right now, but they do this over and over and over again. And really, we're, it's just projection. That's projection yeah. right there. But yes, I mean, listen, um, I, and, and is Vladimir Putin capable of offing one of his enemies? No question. There is no question Vladimir Putin has done that and probably will do that in the future. Um, uh, no doubt about it. There's just no doubt about it. Did he kill Alexei Navalny? I don't think so. It served absolutely no purpose. Um, he's Again, he is not, Vladimir Putin is uh, incredibly intelligent. Uh, he's not just your average run-of-the-mill smart guy, right? This is a very highly intelligent man. This served absolutely zero purpose for him whatsoever. None. It got zero gain for Vladimir Putin or for Russia. Zero. No gain. In fact, damage. It damages uh, them. It causes uh, some issues for them. There's no reason. And I'm glad you brought this video up because <laughs> how convenient that his wife just happened to be at the security conference. That's weird. Very convenient. Good timing. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, so Putin also chose to do this when his wife is at the Munich Security Conference. <laughs> <laughs> bro, who believes this shit? <laughs> this is fucking stupid dude level shit, bro. Like, this is not a mystery, fam. You don't need a mystery machine to find Where's Scooby Doo it? when you need him? <laughs> We gotta solve this mystery, kids. Bro, just in time for her to give a speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. It's so oh my dumb. god, he like, like I'm gonna send a message. I know his wife about to get a speech right now, so now I know I could have killed Navani whenever I wanted to. So I'm gonna wait during to an election year to do it for some reason. But I, I I can kill him whenever I want. Apparently, I'm so strong and so powerful. I can kill him whenever he want. So I'm gonna wait till his wife is at a security conference. I'm gonna wait until I'm winning the war. I'm I, I have a, a massive uh, approval rating. I've got this huge wave of positive PR coming my way. Um, I'm doing like I'm doing great. Everything's going good for me. Uh, but I'm gonna wait until uh, Alexei Navalny's wife is at the Security Council giving a speech, and then I'm gonna off this guy who's in prison and serves absolutely absolutely no threat to me whatsoever. He is no threat to me whatsoever. He is completely yeah. irrelevant. I'm going to do that. It makes People's no sense. People's lack of critical thinking is fucking amazing me, man. The fact that Bernie Sanders and Dr. Corno West is falling for this shit. Right? <laughs> but I, once right. again, I, I admit it. I said earlier this week, I'm, like, I'm not expert in Alvani, right? I, it wasn't a story. I wouldn't I say I'm an expert. I know. I know. Yeah. There's I too mean, much shit to know about. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I admit it like, that was one of the stories I didn't really look into. It took me like less than an hour to realize the clown show that this story is. Yeah. Dr. Cornell West and many other people couldn't do it. <laughs> it's so fucking, that's so funny to me because I don't think I'm that much smarter than these people. I'm a college dropout. Just I, don't, I think you know that's, what I, that's what I find most disturbing though is that I don't, Cornell West is not an idiot. So I know exactly. that he, he, he has to know. Right. Like he has to. There's no people keep trying to justify. Oh, he just doesn't know or what. Well, he's not dumb, though. So uh, you can infantilize him if you want. But he's not an idiot. I think that he and this is not this is something that if you are Cornell West, I think you probably know a, a pretty good amount about at least um, uh, broadly speaking. I don't know if he knew specifics or details, but it's not like these videos are difficult to find or that people haven't been talking about this for a very long time, in particular since the Russia Ukraine war thing started because uh, Navalny was seen as the opposition leader and all of this stuff. So he's been getting play like people have been talking about this. So it's very difficult for me to believe that. Cornell West didn't know or doesn't know, which is makes it all the more bizarre and weird that he would tweet that shit out, man. And it's still up. <laughs> they, Marion, and I said this a long time ago. I said Marion Wilson get her foreign policy direction from MSNBC. Yes. 
Oh. And liberals, they take they take their direction from them, and they work they work backward from their conclusion. Like sometimes Dr. West fall on the good side, but he works backward from their conclusion. Yeah. This video here, I don't. Just for a second time, I'm not, I'm not gonna play. I had it in the background playing. This is like the evidence of Alexei Navalny showing up to neo Nazi rallies, uh, white supremacists, neo Nazi marches. So uh, here, Combate again. I'm featuring them. Great count. Uh, here, Alexei Navalny, the West former darling. Organizing marches with a gang of neo Nazi extremists and Misty, you want to know the kind of per you know who uh, the kind of person who organizes marches with neo Nazis? Nazis? You want to know what we call them? Nazis. Yeah, I love how you got that so immediately. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was hoping for a pause from a press line, but I love how you like immediately he was like, "Yeah, Nazis. What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Nazis. If you're if you're going to a march with some Nazis and it's a Nazi march and there are Nazi um, uh, signs and there, you're probably a Nazi. I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's how it works, Doctor Cornell was. Pretty That's how it works, guys. Yeah. That's yeah. how it works. They called us Nazis for marching for Medicare for all, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> and for ending war. And for ending war, too. Don't forget. Ending wars. Ending we war. End war ending the, like, listen, we went, ahead, and, we went and did a rally to end the funding of Nazis, and we were called Nazis. You're a Nazi if you want to end the wars. You're a Nazi if you want health care. But if you march with Nazis in Russia, you're then courageous. Then you're courageous. <laughs> you guys see why I will never accept this dumbass shit? That we yeah. sent for Dr. Cornell West, you yeah. literally embarrass yourself, homie. Like it's literally so unbelievable to think about the people who fall for this. Yeah. The people who are weak on white supremacy and Nazism is you, sir. Yes. Is the Bernie Sanders left who's for this guy? It's for these liberals who are just straight up pro-Nazi now. Who yeah. what do you call these people who celebrate the Azov Battalion in Ukraine and now they celebrate Alexei Novani as a as a hero, hey fam, question for chat, question for Misty. How many Nazis do you have to pray before you consider a Nazi pr uh, collaborator? One. That would be my answer. One. <laughs> they got they got One. multiple Nazis. They pray. They got a portfolio of Nazis. They praised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Canada inviting fucking SS Waffen Nazis. Standing ovations. Canada. We're currently um, uh, arming and funding Zionists, which are essentially Nazis. Um, we are currently arming the Azov Battalion, which are actual Nazis. Um, again, y'all, the Nazis weren't defeated. Uh, we took them in. We gave them new names. We gave them jobs in high positions of power. Um, and we moved about our day. <laughs> Nazism like is alive and well in the United States. No question. Like I said earlier, if your job, if your goal is to disprove Putin's point that he's fighting against the Nazification of the West, right? <laughs> you, you guys are doing a horrible job by propping this guy. You guys are proving everything Putin says correct by your behavior. You don't even realize it. I'm gonna just look look at these nausea and tweets. Not this was very early in the day. Like this is, I woke up like, oh shit, the Nav Navadi dead. This is about to be fucking. Insufferable. Oh, yes, Twitter was insufferable was. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So this is I sent this out 9 a.m. yesterday. So I literally looked for on Twitter for a few seconds. This is what I found. Twitter was infested by these tweets. Down the corner West saw these tweets. He was inspired to make one his own. <laughs> right. So listen, listen to this here, Misty. I know you want to chime in after you read some of these. Just now I heard, and all these are big influential accounts. Just now heard that Alexi Navani has finally been murdered by Putin. <laughs> And I feel sick. Now, Vali was a courageous and selfless oh. soul who wanted to kick out all the Muslims in Russia. I, he didn't say that. I had to add at least a little fact to it. He called Muslim cockroaches, but he's a selfless soul. So when you see people praise Nazis like this and whitewash Nazis like this, what do we call them? <laughs> Nazis. Well, in 2024, what I tell you what, on Nick at noon and Nick at night, we are going to use language the way it meant to be used mm -hmm. this year. That is what we're going to do. Let's continue. This. These tweets are hilarious to me. If each of us could have could be a tenth as courageous as Alvani, fascism would be impossible and it would be a beautiful world. Oh my God, bro. It hurts my would be impossible if we was one tenth the level of this Nazi. Fascism would become impossible. Oh my God. Oh, the idea of it saying that brainer. sentence in regards to your praise of an actual fascist 
is amazing. The lack of self-awareness in that sentence is incredible. Like somebody needs to put that in a museum somewhere. Meanwhile, progressives, progressives don't understand why I view liberal the same as red MAGA. Like this is the same level of stupidity. <laughs> I can I I won't fight back against that uh, fight back against <laughs> it. But this tweet right here is as bad as the worst thing you can find a MAGA person tweeting. You know yeah. what I mean? The worst example of a MAGA person to be like you know like those sensational like Jordan interviews shows videos you would do yeah. to get clicks to where you, you talk to crazy MAGA people. Yes, the craziest oh. MAGA person is at least on the same level as this person every single time I'm gonna show you. At least if you want to say he's worse, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you. Let me show you one. Let me show you some more. Okay, that's just one of them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is is this the Jack Smith that is trying to prosecute Trump? Uh, I, when I look on his profile, I think he was Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is dead. Putin did it. <laughs> Trump is demanding immunity to do the same. So, Misty, you have Democrats that are trying to convince people that the prosecutions and the lawfare against Donald Trump is not political. So, one of the worst things you can do is by having the people that are in charge of this saying that. Tweeting this obviously partisan bullshit. How can you see Jack Smith tweeting this bullshit and think that he's not a fucking partisan that's going after Trump for political purposes? You guys misprove your own point, but let's move on to the next one. Feel free to interrupt anytime. I only got four. I could I could have made like a twin a ten tweet thread about this. <laughs> I only picked four because I, I, I looked at the trading tab, Navani. I was like, bro. I'm about to fucking vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously said, what the fuck? So many times yesterday. Yeah. I mean, just, oh, ridiculous. So fam, do you guys think that we was exaggerating in RBN when we said the West has been, has embraced Nazism? Do you guys think Putin is exaggerating when he said the West has embraced Nazism? Look at what, just a few of many tweets I could have showed you of with people praising this guy. Yeah. Uh, John Simpson said, horrified at the death of the best hope for a peaceful political future <laughs> in Russia. So according to John, Sim John Simpson, so let's not assume he's a dumbass. So according to John Simpson, he believes the best hope for Russia is to deport and kill all the Muslims in Russia. Yeah. So you're a Nazi, John Simpson. Yes. Are, are we going to take people at their word of what they're saying? Why should I give him benefit of the doubt? When this people tell Simpson you who Nazi they are, are, when people tell you who they are, believe them. Absolutely. Believe them. My Maybe auntie said that. Wrong tweets. <laughs> so that's your social wrong tweets. I should. I should. Cause he'd be on fire on this. I don't Especially, think I saw bro, any of Rome Street. Rome tweets. Bro, Doctor, he is. If you guys think I'm being mean to Doctor Cornell West, Rome has been calling out Doctor Cornell West from day one. That's so he's like, Rome. I told you, motherfucker. I told you, motherfucker, <laughs> not to trust him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rome. Rome was like, bro, I don't trust this nigga. He said that from day one. Yeah. So anyway, let's continue. Rome's um, got a good BS detector too. He does. That's why I love Rome, man. Like, I need Rome to keep me balanced. I need Rome around me. Uh, whether or not he was physically murdered, now Bonnie would still be alive, blah, 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 if he hadn't been in the brutal grip of Putin's state. You guys know they don't describe it like this when people die in custody in the United States, which happens way more what than... What about Gonzalo Lira? Gonzalo Lira? Oh, yeah, of course. What about Shereen Abelakwe? What about Julian Assange, who's currently being murdered in slow motion? What about Edward Snowden, who has been held in exile? What about Daniel Hale, who's a whistleblower, who's currently serving a prison sentence? Um, uh, I mean, seriously, that's it's the um, American exceptionalism and hypocrisy that it takes to finger wag at Vladimir Putin. Let's just say for a, for a second here that Putin um, uh, did kill Alexei Navalny in prison. Let's just say that that happened. Do you really think that you have the moral superiority over literally yeah. anybody to be finger wagging at him? You do not. If you want to be able to have that ca capacity to be able to hold yourself up as a, as a moral superior, then maybe you should stop acting like um, psychopaths. I'm just saying. Yeah, this is is this the um, chick that like rapped in Congress, kind of? I told you guys, keep your eye on this motherfucker, man. Yeah. Jasmine Crockett is a new neoliberal star. Like she's she's the person who's been obsessed over defending Hunter Biden. She was the she was obsessed over January 6th, but she would take this sassy, um very familiar to me, very comforting to me. Um, like for lack of a better term, like black lingo. Like yeah. she'll talk like the sister. But she would have Trump and the syndrome. So she's horrible. So this is what she says. The new black neoliberal star, bro. She's, she's going to be a demon, bro. 
Alexei Navalny is dead today because Vladimir Putin believes we will let him do whatever the hell he wants. And he believes that because Donald Trump and the Republicans too scared to cross him won't support Ukraine in their fight for their lives. Pass the damn aid package. Fam. Fam. Do you guys understand what she just said? She is saying that because a Nazi died in Russia, we have to fund the genocide in Gaza more. Because that's the well, package she's talking about. We have to send money to Ukraine <laughs> to Nazis. Like, I don't. Me wrong with this. Right? She's throwing a fit because a Nazi was killed in prison. And so, in, in order to, um, uh, you know, fight back against the guy that killed the Nazi in prison, she wants us to fund Nazis. I mean, I don't like, understand. Dude. What? I don't understand. And people just go along with this. Like the average American person is like, yeah, we got to send more money to Ukraine. And it's just the, this is why I'm fascinated by propaganda because the way that they are able to sell this shit and make it make sense to the average American person is mind blowing to me. The idea that we are, um, uh, <laughs> we're going to send $60 billion to Ukraine, a notoriously corrupt country that has actual Nazis as like a conscripted part of their military. Uh, and people are like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. hundred percent. Let's do that. But we can't have healthcare or um, education or roads or, uh, you know, we can't do any of those. We can't help the people of Lahaina. We can't do any of that stuff. But we can sure uh, send some weapons to Nazis to blow people up for profit. We can do that. No questions asked. Yeah. That's, so that's why I, 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 I got a pretty devastating tweet on her off when I said, you care more about funding Nazis in Ukraine and the genocide in Gaza than you do care about funding the black community. Like when you listen to this person, she always talking about Trump. She's talking about January 6th, January 6th, this. And she's not talking about January 6th or Hunter Biden. She's talking about funding Ukraine. Yeah. Like we have a black, she, she's a young black woman. When she was elected, everyone was like, oh my God, it's so amazing. We got this young black woman in office. She's such a, she's just a, if she's a, she was elected in Texas. She like, she, she's Texas, a, okay. a black congressperson in Texas. You know, I remember when she was elected, it was a, there was a lot of black liberals that made it a big deal. So she took the momentum of being a young black female that broke this milestone in Texas and used it to be an advocate for Nazis. <laughs> it's amazing. It's and amazing. People, people are like, yes, queening her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, she's so great. Like, listen to her. She did that. She's doing all this. No. Bro, she's That's what I mean. Like, oh. She's the next Jim Clyburn. She's young, bro. Yeah. She's going to be here forever. No one's getting rid of her, bro. She's safe as fuck in that seat. You think she so? Got, she's going to have all the money. Yeah, bro. Yeah. After her performances, the liberal wine moms love her. I, I see some people in chat say they don't know her because you guys haven't been obsessed with watching cable news. I'm like not you. super familiar with her. I know a little bit about I, her. No, I've been obsessed with her because she's like one of the worst, bro. She's like she, yeah. every bad you liberal talking about she's attention. there. But yeah, yeah I, I'm here. I'm here so you guys don't have to. <laughs> Thank you. Because I, I really, <laughs> the Go whole ahead. electoral system and elected officials and all of that stuff, it, it's just, oh, I just, I can't. I cannot. Like, I, I only pay attention as much as I absolutely have to, mostly for my job. Also, just because of, like, Assange stuff, trying to, you know, um, you know, put pressure where it needs to be put. But other than that, I just don't care. All of these people, they're all the same to me. I just don't care. I do not care. Uh -huh.